Hello and welcome to this Illustrator tutorial. Today we're looking at the order in which you perform tasks in Illustrator and how that can affect the outcome. Before we begin, however, I have more Illustrator courses at Skillshare. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you. This is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator courses at Udemy and there's a referral link for these courses in the description below. Feel free to share these with family and friends. Let's swing back to Illustrator where I've pre-prepared a document. Here we have a line that has a roughen effect applied to it. You can see that this is a line, it's got a stroke, it has no fill. If we go to the appearance panel, you can see the roughen effect here and the stroke and no fill. Well, I'm going to make a duplicate of that line. I'll hold the Alt key on a PC, Option on a Mac and just drag a duplicate away. The ultimate effect that I want is for this to be thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. So with this line, I'm going to select over it and from the profiles here, I'll choose width profile 4, which is this triangle. I'm going to increase the stroke width to 20 and that gives me a line that is thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Now we're going to take these two lines which are identical except for the fact that this one has a width profile applied to it and we're going to expand the appearance. So with both lines selected, I'll choose object and then expand appearance. Now if I select over this line, you'll see here in the appearance panel that it is just a stroke and it has no fill. So this is still a line and when we click on it, it'll have anchor points all the way along the line. Pretty much probably what you would expect to have happened. But over here, the story is very different. When I select on this line, you'll see that it has a fill, but it has no stroke. So expanding this line that has had that width profile applied to it has ended up creating a filled shape. And so it's going to have anchor points all the way along it. It's not looking anything like this particular line does. So we've got a different result by applying the width profile to this line at an earlier stage. Let's select over this line. Let's go and apply the same width profile that we did over here. And let's increase the stroke width to 20 pixels. And you'll see that in this case, we've got a line that is still a line, still editable as a line. But we've done that by applying the width profile after we've expanded it. When we do it before we expand it, we end up with a very different shape. So if you encounter difficulties with Illustrator where things happen that you don't expect or don't want to happen, in terms of expanding appearances, be aware that it might be better to apply some effects to shapes after you expand their appearance and not before. I hope that this video has been of help to you and you've learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.